Good evening and welcome to the Mom Project Suicide Prevention Mental Health Awareness and Support, giving you um, as much information, awareness and solutions as possible. My name is Kerry Mussington and I am the founder and director of Mind Over Matter Project Suicide Prevention. And please introduce yourself over to the right hand side would be JDA from Light Fitness Lifestyle. Please do introduce yourself and then we're going to get to our special guest. Miss Dion Ivel. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, Jean Louis Delorme. Everyone knows me as JD. I am the founder of JDA Fitness. I am a personal trainer, ex military, and um, I'm a strong sour in co collaboration with my novel batter that uh, we bring here to bring awareness about fitness and health and well being. Right, so today we've got special guest, Miss Dion Ivel. Please do introduce yourself. Right here. Comes Hi everyone. So I'm Dion Ivel, and my, my my project name or my business name, sorry, is Kamamu Mosaics. Um, so I'm a mosaic artist, and I specialise in in mostly African inspired artworks. I also run um, wellness workshops. I also do voiceovers, and I just tend to be quite a creative person. Voiceovers. Tell us a bit more about the voiceovers before we get to the product. Oh, the voiceovers. Okay, so that kind of started last year, about a year ago, yeah, and people were just telling me that my voice is very kind of like soothing and relaxing and maybe I should consider being a voiceover artist. So I kind of looked about, you know, investigated the um, the industry and I was like, hmm, maybe, I'll, have, I'll give it a go. So I just basically recorded a video and put it out onto the platform and yeah, I got a few people who wanted to um, use my voice and so that's what I do now as well. Oh, that's amazing. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Fun. It's quite fun. So your voice yeah. has brought us here today because we want to hear what you've got to say. Part of why we're doing what we're doing, Mind Over Matter is doing what and JDA Lifestyles is doing, is trying to bring solutions to people that are suffering perhaps with mental health, uh, depression, um, anxiety, and we're trying to get over that. But please tell us about your product and why you are here raising awareness on the importance of what you have to bring to the table today. Okay, so can I just give you a little bit of a backstory of how I got into Mosaics first and then we'll leave Absolutely. You. Okay. Yes, so please. first of all, um, I have not got a uh, background in art at all. I didn't have any kind of qualifications mm -hmm. in art. Um, I, my background is actually I was a legal secretary for many years and I realised um, a few years into doing my legal work was that it just wasn't the one for me. I'm more of a creative person and more of a sporty person as well but I, and I like to kind of just do things that just make me happy and uh, legal work was not making me happy. So I basically <laughs> just looked on the prospectus, looked in the prospectus um and i and i couldn't draw or paint that nothing like that um and i found mosaic artwork and basically just went along to a 10-week course in camden in london and mm -hmm. by week three i was basically hooked on it because it was it instantly gave me um the relaxation that i wanted and the joy that i wanted because sorry because the the actual process of mosaic artwork is very therapeutic and that was just perfect for me so fast forward uh, to, to, to today um, I now create mosaics and I also offer workshops um, which is one of the reasons why I'm on here today to actually um, promote the workshops and just to tell everybody that um, doing this particular art form is so so brilliant for your mindset um, it, it really does sort of channel in and make you focus on the activity that you're doing. It's mm -hmm. almost it's almost like you're doing a jigsaw puzzle, but it's a little bit more intense than a jigsaw puzzle. So you're taken away from your daily whatever is going on in your life, and you're basically focusing on what you're doing, creating this piece of art, um, and it's just giving you this kind of zen feeling of. I don't know how to explain it without actually doing it yourself. It's it's really hard to explain. But a lot of my 
uh, clients or the people who have been to my workshops have always, most of the words they say is therapeutic, relaxing, um, takes me away from whatever's going on in my daily life. It's, it's me time and it's just a, a, a lovely way to actually um, spend some time. So mm -hmm. that explains it a little bit. It does. I mean, I think the importance of when, when the mind is overreactive, um, there's a lot of frustration that goes through life of our mental health and the anxiety and the fear. We don't know what to do with the time that we have. And I think that's why we, we bringing in something like in what you're doing, that creative art, I call it creative art, creativeness, is about that self-development and then the end product is something that you look at it and go i created that i done that for me so it's yeah. for me time isn't it taking the opportunity to cease what you've got to offer becomes like me time i'm going to do this for me but you have something to show for it so do you have any any little pieces that you can show us right now I do have a few pieces. I can show you my first piece, actually, um, my very first ever mosaic. And um, before I show it to you, I just want to tell you the story behind this. So as I mentioned before, I have no experience with artwork, drawing, painting, that was, just wasn't my thing. So part of the course, we were asked to bring something that we were going to actually do our mosaic from. So in my head, I'm thinking, oh, we have to draw stuff. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know how to draw. What am I going to do? So um, I get to the class and I can see the other people around me who are clearly artists and they are there drawing and sketching these wonderful pieces of whatever they're going to be doing. And I'm sat there and I'm like, what am I going to do? Um, mm -hmm. And I was feeling around. I had a pair of earrings on at the time, not these ones, but I had some earrings on at the time that were in the shape of a... Um, a lady with like some crazy hair and so I took the earring off this was like almost I don't know divinely guided took the earring off put it on the table and I just started drawing this outline and I kid you not I drew the outline from start to finish without mm -hmm. having to rub out anything and I just couldn't believe I had created this thing so anyway without further ado this is this is a little bit um word worse for wear now this is what I created. See that very well. Let's go back a bit. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's really um, nice. There's some tiles missing over here because it's it it is quite old. <laughs> but that's what I that's the earring that I was wearing at the time, and that's the very first piece that I created. So you can make things come back to life in another way and then have that and you can hang them on your walls. I suppose what with the mosaic you can do a lot with that because yes. that's something you hang on your So um you can because they're made of tiles, uh, mostly I use I use mostly uh, vitreous tiles and stained glass and um Oh, I can't reach at the moment, but some, some ceramic tiles, that porcelain tiles. So mm -hmm. all of these are durable tiles and hard wearing that you can use outside and inside. Um, so if I want, to, I've got to show you, this is the, the actual mosaic that we'll be working on at the workshop at the end of the month. And it's a chakra design, oh, based on chakra design. So if you're not feeling familiar with chakras, everyone, mm -hmm. chakras are different meridians you have in your body. You have seven of them and you have your from your crown right down to your root. And mm -hmm. each chakra represents a different part of your body and how you're, it can relate to how you're feeling. Um, you can have different colors that come from your aura as well that relate to what is going on in your, in your mind and in your body at the time. So this particular one, the orange one, which is one of my favorite colors anyway, this this is the um, the solar plexus. So it's a, just about five How long does it take like that to make? So this actual piece doesn't take very long to create. This will take probably about an hour, maybe less, depending on how quickly you work. So this is not grouted. Mm -hmm. Go closer so you can see it's not grouted at all. It's on a black background. So you're basically yes, 
sticking pieces on. So if you're going to do this workshop with me, um, I will create all these pieces. So you don't need to cut anything. I just provide the, the tile board and, and the tiles will be already cut and you just stick them down along with me. And that's, that's how you do that, that particular piece. Jay? Nothing. I, I, I think it's really good. It's, uh, yeah, I could see how it can be therapeutic because it takes your mind, mind off things. So if you're going through depression or um, it just creates that side of your brain, that creative side. So it takes you away from dwelling on stuff. And uh, yeah, I could see, I could see the, the the thinking behind it. And I think, I think, I think it's yeah, it can, it can be really therapeutic. It's like a photographer or something going out in the wilderness, or you know, just just to be in your own little space, your own little world, and to just escape from everyone. Yeah, it definitely is an escape <laughs> for sure. And I've had um, a couple of people who who have had some kind of mental illnesses. They've just related to me whilst they're they're actually doing the project. I didn't know beforehand, mm -hmm. and um, they felt it comfortably enough to actually say to me, "Well, you know, this is taking me away from whatever was going on in their life at that time," mm -hmm. and it's definitely something that they were going to continue um, because it it gives them that sense of freedom and relaxation and yeah that and achievement as well and just to add the benefit of that is that generally we can go out to the shop and we can waste our money on sweets cigarettes alcohol all of those things and have something to show for it and the fact that they come and do I mean I'm attending one of your classes <laughs> I will book in if I need to go because what I wanted to do was give myself an opportunity to learn something different. And I would like to put myself into what you, you see, understanding is, is to take part. And in order to take part, then you must apply action. So I book myself in, I'm in, so I can, um, I suffer from mental ill health at times. I can be ill and at times I could just be as I am today, you know. Um, so I to find things to do within my day i'm pretty bored um even you think i'm busy i'm all over the place no because i have to manage the mental health so i have a life outside of this life and um i have to utilize the skills and the tools that are provided for me to get my mental health well and if i don't reach out and don't take those opportunities then i'm not fixing the problem and that problem deep down can be me and self-sabotage sometimes so therefore on the mental health well-being for anyone you don't have to have that label by the way it's just something that we deal with uh, might feel rocky might just say you know what i want a hobby but i know a lot of people want to do it because it occupies the mind again it replaces self-harm and i'm really clued up on i'm telling people about self-harm in a way without promoting the method but it takes away from the self-harm i.e will get you out of bed in the morning it will get you interacting with other people and socializing this is why why i i thought i take the initial guns and say i hold my hands up i want to be a part of what you're doing dion because it sounds amazing and i'm going to have a finished product at the end of it and i'm going to put that up and say i plunge me time into that one of the other things that i'm going to bring back and pull back because you've prompted my memory is that when i was under the freedom program the domestic violence about domestic violence they had us creating or painting a play and I know it seems like a silly pointless exercise, but it was highly worth it and highly valuable because it came about me time. So that's why I booked, booked onto your thing, booked onto your course. So at the bottom of this page, viewers, there is a link if you'd like to um, oh. provide your interest into what Dion is providing, creative healing, you know, by my mosaic. I could get the right words because I'm just a normal person. There's, no, I'm a, there's a little typo in there, I just noticed. Oh my God! What is it? Let me get it right. Um, I will apologize. Shall, shall, I, shall I put it in the chat? I would love you to put it in the chat, and I will just correct it right now too. Okay. I apologize. You see, these things happen. We're normal. You know, we're not. We're not fake. We're real. And errors happen. I'm just a. <laughs> it's a fight of trying to make a difference in the way I know. You see. So what have I missed out, my love? Um. 
be I can't see it now. <laughs> Just tell your email is and I'll and I'll put it out. Q info Q E, Q -E M for mother A M U A M Q E A Q E M A A M U Yes mosaics.co.uk I think you only missed out um mum or M U M maybe or M U Yeah Do you know what? Could you put it in the chat? <laughs> I could have a look at it. It's not registered. Yeah. And that's the that's thing about mental health as well, so about overload, when you're overwhelmed and what's going on, trying to interview, trying to make sure everything's right. Even spelling, I was never good at spelling. And that's why second interest and second view, I is better sometimes. So is that in the chat now, my love? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's in private or comments, though. I don't know, look down. Okay. Jay, have you got any questions? And will you be booking this mosaic for yourself to, to make sure? Yes, you will. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a go. I'll always have a go. There's no harm in trying something new. You might yeah. end up surprising yourself. We need more males on the course. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. What about families? Do you do the families as well? Yeah, so I, I've worked with families before, and that's actually a really nice project. And I've I've got something um, in the pipeline that I'm thinking about doing as a, as a, um, a legacy family mosaic where I work with the family and talk to them about the different aspects of their family. So it might be the personalities of the people, um, where they like going, things like that. And mm. then around that, we create a mosaic that represents each member of the family. And it's something that you can, I start with you and you can add to as and when you want to. Yeah, because I've been recommending what you've got to uh, people I know that suffer with mental health, even alcohol problems as well. Again, it's the distraction. Is it? Is what? What's the distraction technique? Yeah. Why did you get into it yourself? Why I I wanted something creative to do. That's what yeah. how, how I got into it. Um, I, because because of the legal background, it was just not the thing that I was interested in doing. Um, my my parents were trying to push me into being a, a solicitor and stuff, and I thought, no, that's just not me. Um, and I knew that I was creative in in a sense because I liked you know fashion and things like that, but I didn't mm -hmm. know exactly what it was I wanted to actually do. Mm -hmm. um, it's not until I just looked into this prospectus and I just decided that's what I'm going to try as a hobby and it it you know it, it felt it came through and it was the one that I was really drawn towards and through doing the workshops I realized it was something that would could help other people um so when they obviously when they came to the workshops they were all come com complimenting it and saying how therapeutic it is and how relaxing it is and the, all the things i mentioned before so and that's why i wanted to kind of reach out a bit more and, and help more people mm -hmm. right so we said that we were going to announce to I'm, I'm i'm still trying to work on getting your email in you know <laughs> but we said we were going to nominate um an individual that needed some much needed support with them around the mental health and i think this is really good to to do that um so i i had a request because i put out on facebook that do you have anyone that would not, what, what could benefit from mental health um support in any way uh shape or form so mm -hmm. and would you nominate now there were individuals that nominated themselves which i think well done you've reached out and said i need to change whatever's going on with me i'm going to try another task task so the fact of the matter is they self-nominated themselves each week we're going to be doing something every time we've got somebody else coming in to talk we're going to give away a donation because part of the mom project is about providing a solution and a support part of uh, with jd fitness and lifestyles again is all about providing those solutions hence what we come back in 
So I did say that I was going to announce someone for receiving that gift today, but one of the nominations came from a specific lady. Now, I won't put the last name out simply because some people don't want to be recognized that they've got mental health or problems, okay? Just some. But the yeah. nomination came in, and the nomination came in to say that this lady of almost 40 years suffers, um, not suffers, her family from yeah. one generation down to the next of bipolar and schizophrenia and that's 40 years of help what they have done giving back to other people but not themselves um mm. i also know that this person about this person has done wonderful things always giving back and if it wasn't for the giving back a person an individual that was once homeless um had to resolve an issue and they were nominated also to have their res issue resolved and it comes from word of mouth as you say, a ripple effect. So the person that is nominating an individual, and I'm only going to give the last first name, Miss Stephanie Curl has nominated a lady called Jody, and that Jody is coming from the Sawbridge Worth in the UK, and will receive. I do have the email. Will receive a donation to um, appear at your workshop with you, Dion, and you will do the one-on-one -on -one supervision to help them, guide them, etc. So that gift's going out to a lady called Jody, and that was a recommendation you were nominated by Stephanie Curl. Um, so look forward to receiving that with the date of the next uh, event coming from Dion soon. There is one more nomination. One more nomination. There's another one. There's one more nomination. Now, we did say we were going to do one nomination and that, that the mind over matter, and this is why it's important to raise awareness, that the mind over matter and JDA Lifestyles will be giving out a nomination. And um, I'm going to do one on my own. So I've nominated, and this is coming from me, so you've got the project, I think this one's coming from me. I am nominating a lady called Anne. She will know who she is. And all she will do, and I'll get in contact with her and leave her email with me so I can get those vouchers out to these people as well. Her name, her name is Anne. Um, she reached out, and I just want to say thank you. You knew, you will know who you are uh, if your initial last name begins with M. <laughs> uh, so that's two donations of therapy going out today. And um, this is our way of giving back as much as we could possibly brilliant, um, give back. And uh, I think it's important to receive that support. So that's three members of the mom coming on to you right now. And this is how it's supposed to work, supporting local businesses and people that are at home um, who have provided a solution. It's important to push out what you're doing because when you're on your own pushing out what you're doing, it's hard work. So sometimes, yeah. and, and you know that deep down, you want to reach so many more people out there to say, hey, I, it works for me. And the yeah. feedback is, it's worked for them. So yeah. I want to recommend this for you. So on that note, you know, so that's what we're doing. So I, oh, brilliant. is there something you else would like to add, you know, other than just the ceramics? I thought, I said to you when I looked at your chakra, I said to you that you could actually put a clock in there if you wanted to and make it a dial or yeah, something like that. I did mention that, yeah, about that mm. centre. Where, where I've got that centrepiece in there, you could... Oh, can't see where my fingers go. Yeah, yeah. you could see that. Yeah, that's, I'm that's actually going to... Um, um, I'm going to put this onto a frame and uh, so it's going to be back to the frame. So you can do what you want with this. It's basically... MDF at the oh this is plywood actually at the back so you can stick it to a frame or you can stick it to your wall whatever you want to do with it mm. but the idea is for you to when you're um, doing the actual workshop with me I'm going to take you through a very short exercise before you actually do the the, the creating and to get you relaxed and ready to to work there's nothing to mm. be frightened of or anything like that it's just going to be very relaxed and um, I'm going to try to get you to visualize your your intended uh, mosaic and what you want to project out afterwards. So, so do, they, 
Yeah, JD, do, do you send these in post to these the people so they can get the product? Obviously, you'll have to, won't you? What did you just say? So, so once they sign up to you, you send out their the product in the post to them, and then they will be registered for that course. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. This this yeah. one on the thirtieth, I think, is is full now. But I will be rolling them out every last Saturday of the month. There but you if, go. If you're a person that prefers not to be in a group, then that's absolutely fine. I can do one to one with you. That's good because a lot of people don't want to do that, do they? But then some people. I always think, if, you know, even that statement alone, we have to try and integrate. We have to because you we all relying on someone to support us. And if we don't open up the doors for other people, allow other people in, sometimes when people pass away, that means you're left unsupported. So we have to open up the doors with each other. So, yeah, Jay, you want to say something? Yeah, it's just something I thought, when you mentioned about that, the mosaic as a family, something that came, came to mind. I thought, I, I thought that was really, really brilliant because not only that, and especially in this current climate where people just put their own their own expression in, their own thing as a family, and and without being morbid about it, because if you've lost someone in your family, there you've got a memory of someone that's actually put something in as well. And not the only the only other the other thing I thought about is that People, because I've got one of my children who's got autism, and you find people that's got autism or cer certain disability, they're probably a lot more creative than most of us. And I think to do that as a parent with your child is so therapeutic, something that you really, I think this could really, really help children from an autistic back background and help, help parents to sort of bond with their children and not only that because they get the children when with autistic when they're getting so, so creative they, they're quiet they're getting well into it. it gives a little break as well i think this yeah. this is why i'm looking at this i think it's brilliant i, I would say that if anybody is watching this right now you you can see how the lengths we're going to to bring you products services information awareness from around the world that's what we're doing we're doing what we can to save life to promote healthy living and healthy options then bringing in the family you know you've got the school you're at home you're in lockdown these kids are fed up with the homework sometimes when i asked my grandchild how long have you got to do the schoolwork for online and he said hours and i went hours online he said yes so i'm learning it so it'd be nice to say well hold on guys we know we can't go to the cinema tonight well not outside the building we can't do this and we can't do that you know I've booked us in for a family uh, event, one that we can bond, we can talk, we can discuss, we can watch growth, we can see everything. There's not a lot of family bonding going out here, and that is the option to, to replace you. When you're doing that, you are wrapped up and engrossed in doing those things, but you will hold a conversation whilst yeah. doing it. So, again, it is important. It's bonding. It's bonding. It's bonding. It's, it, it's important. And, and, again, stimulation of the mind. Or squat, but brilliant ideas as you can see um you've got a few viewers here and i really thank you so much viewers for coming in encouraging even having a comment and sharing the awareness with us because the mom we're here to say we've got a lot to say um so you know your viewers says look at that yes hard work we're here to support you your viewer says visualizing is great oh. And then this one says, such a fantastic idea. Happy to support you. Oh, and this nice. one is, yes, healthy living. Much appreciated for those comments. I mean, that just makes, even those those comments, makes a difference. Not just to Dion, who, who is putting herself out here live. It's not something she's accustomed to doing very much. But she's putting herself out here to bring that product. Again, JDL, you know. We're here, we're up here, but we're normal people behind closed doors, struggling, you know, some people struggle, and we're just trying to find those solutions. So family events, brilliant. I know I've recommended you for family uh, mosaics or whatever. Getting booked up pretty quick, so the quicker that somebody learns a new skills, the more that you could offer, right, as you go, as you build. 
And just yeah. touching on what you said, Jay, regarding the um, the people who um, might leave us or depart us after, you know, for whatever reason, if you have something that someone something from someone who's already gone, and like a button or a shell that they really love, you can put that piece into the into the mosaic, and you'll know that's that's their special. That's the meaning behind why they put that there, and it's it's just a really nice reminder of why why you're doing it, and it, and like you said, it's a legacy. You can pass it down to your children. They can add pieces on if you want to leave a little space. They can add pieces on for people who are not yet born yet. So, yeah, I, I I think it's brilliant because this is brings me back to when I uh, even with my kids, I've been I, I'm quite creative. I've been, I don't know if that's called, I was pretty good at art. Uh -huh. But the best time I ever had with my kids when, is when you're building Legos or stuff like that, when you're creating something together. And then I, and I, and I think, especially in this day, day and age, when you've got so much technology, when <laughs> how many times do you, do you go, go in someone's house today and you see everybody on their phone and there's no communication between yourselves? So to, to, yeah. to actually do something together with your children, with your family, create something with your kids, and then you got there as memory, it becomes sentimental. And, yeah. I, and I think I think it's really, and, 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 and to create something where there's a story behind it, I, I, I think it's, a, it, and yeah, it's just memories. And I think it does a lot for your mind. It's just, it takes, yeah, I think it's brilliant. Yeah. So please, you know, be patient, you know, Dion is one person, but she's providing at least 10 slots. That's 10 people you're helping at a time. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of human life that you hold in your hands, um, and you're making a difference too. Uh, that's that's really nice. That's yeah, and it's not you know it's just not in this, not just in the UK. It's international, you know. It's not just people here. It's just yeah. reaching out to everyone. Um, I was on a live on what day is it today? Is it Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only know what day it is. <laughs> I was on a live on Sunday and um, it was a, a live regarding um, women who had been abused and they were talking about all about that. You might know the lady actually. No name. Lizard Boy. Mm. What's her name? Ngozi. Ngozi, her name is. Um, sister, sister Space. No, okay. Um, she's the she's the founder of Sister Space, and she was talking about um, all these women um, who they've got a, a space in in London, but the space is under threat of being closed down, and it's a mm -hmm. safe space for women. So it, that's what it is at the moment. And this ladies is, is, is they're campaigning to get to keep this space open because there's just nowhere for these women to go if this place closed closes um but what's interested to me was that it wasn't when they were telling their stories there were different ladies that came on and were telling their stories and it's a worldwide thing it's mm. not just in this you know in this in this country it's all over the place and we need to make sure that we recognise that these things are happening, bring light to it, and offer some kind of solutions mm -hmm. to help to help these people. Yeah, I, I think we, we we've done things the old way for so long, but as we're moving into this situation in 2020, are we 2021 now? Aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> as we're moving into 2021 now, we have to, and it's. It's proven we're having to find those different solutions of reaching out to the public in most of these events now. It can be done in the comfort of your own home. So I guess that's a win-win for us, really, especially if you've got family, to project what you're doing, to offer that solution, to provide that service, and you know you're benefiting someone's mental health. So uh, as the lady says here, I'm not sure. Sorry, guys, I can't see who's who's commenting and I'd love to say your names. I know you'd like to shout out. <laughs> and um, bringing the family together is so important. I definitely feel that that's been lost nowadays. Absolutely. I think that's been lost. And that's why there's so much 
crises, mental health, rejection, destruction. And we've got to come out, we've got we've got to bring people back together somehow. And if, if your product and what you're doing is, is bringing people together and as rightly so, if you were, it says creating memories to cherish the time spent together, what, what an option to have. What This is an opportunity. If nobody, if people are sitting at home telling, saying to me, oh, I've got mental health, I don't know what to do. Oh, no one's listening to me. Look, I can provide an initial listening ear and so, that, so can mental health and so it can anybody else in mental health provide you the listening ear. The skills, the drive, the, and I know that, that that's the problem, the lack of drive. But that one foot in front of the other has to come from the individual to change the onset, to change the mindset. And the motivation will pick up if you apply action. And if you enjoy it, you don't know if you're going to enjoy it unless you try it. So this is the way I look at it is you're not going out to the pubs and clubs anymore. And so the money that you're saving, or even if you're in receipt of PIP, personal independent or disability living allowance, that money is there for you to benefit your mental health. Utilize it. Don't look at it as, oh, I don't want to spend money. If, to get well, to make sure that you feel a part, then, then you're the one that's going to have to apply the action. Stop with the excuses and try the action. Try different things that are coming up, different uh, avenues. Try it, you, you know. That's all we, we're here. We can provide the solutions, but it's up to you if you put one foot in front of the other and try it. So there are many benefits for, the, I think basically everything when it comes to the brain is a reaction when it comes to the brain. So there's so many benefits to this for your mental health. So see you What I was gonna say to you actually is that just, just to um, add, it's an investment when you're saying it's an investment for you to spend time with you. It's not like, can I afford it? And, and you know, um, I, can, or I can't afford it. It's looking at it differently and saying, can I, am I worth this? Am I worth being invested on? How much am I worth, basically? Yeah. And, um, and taking it from there. Okay, so here's some few questions for you. <laughs> I love it. Right. Um, there we go. Right. Dion has such a lovely nature about her, so calm and gentle. I can see why she wanted to get out of the legal profession. Oh, thank you. And you still have the knowledge for the legal profession. Brilliant. See, that's what I was attracted to because you're calm. I hadn't. Okay, I'm wild. I, I felt like I'm, I'm quite hyper and, and so that's a contrast isn't it so it brings me down a peg or two um so yeah pppi i hardly sit and eat as a family myself and i'm guilty of this and that's something you can change and you've recognized it just by writing it now you find the solution to try and change it okay so the fact that you said it out loud says that you recognize it and that's the important part about it now to find creative skills and hobbies and interests to suit you and your family something you can talk about as a family look i've got this and it's not that i want to chuck it on you and tell you to do it what i'm trying to do as a family is i want us to come together and do things that i can see other people doing sometimes and i feel that i'm deprived of it so somebody recommended this solution and as a family i'd like to come together and try and do some family with you and this is on the table let's sign up are you available apply the action okay that's what you can do so thank you for that viewer um right i love that sorry there's so many <laughs> one man one step at a time as we go digital there we go as we enter a digital year we must be careful we don't isolate ourselves yeah. Now, got anything to say about that one, Jay, or Deal? No, I totally agree with that. I really, really agree with that. I think when it comes to technology, uh, back in our days, the mobile phone ringing your parents was on the phone box. No, <laughs> call return. That was our day. That's how we, and about, like I said, communication is a dying art today. People don't know how to talk. You always hear about your grandparents telling ghost stories because that's all they used to be able to do, tell stories, because they used to communicate. 
today people don't talk and I think by being creative and talking, sitting down together, that will bring that back. And I think this is what's missing in the world. There's not enough quality time you spend with your loved one because then you need to create memories, not yeah. not on technology. I think technology it has its uses. Obviously, we're doing this on Facebook, but it also has its downfalls. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So I say, keep going with great mindful activity, and it is it's, in other words. In other words, it, you see, a lot of people are not accustomed to that word mindfulness, yeah. and so then when that came out, and that's only been out a few years. It's only been out a few years, to my knowledge, because I've never heard it throughout the web of mental health. You know what I mean? So it's only been out a few years. And the word mindfulness, yes, to be at peace with your mind and to give yourself time to develop, grow, uh, restructure, and definitely regain and rediscover. And the most part about the mindfulness is that you get in touch with yourself. You know, mm -hmm. you're, you're being in touch with yourself. So, so be selfish. Be selfish and be in touch with yourself to get that healing. It's about being positive and removing negativity. Negative energy does no good for our mental health. So we have to remove that negative energy. Hence why the creative healing again, you know? So yeah. how do you feel for your interview? Because we're not, it's all about putting your product out there. Yes, because that's what we're doing, supporting local businesses and health businesses with solutions to promote. How do you feel about, um, coming on because we are touching about talking about mind you've come on here with an interview how does that feel for you if you're going to encourage someone else to do this what you're doing now about themselves how does that actually feel emotionally doing what you're doing here live wow i feel hmm that's a good question actually Kerry. um when i'm totally relaxed here with you 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 guys make me feel relaxed and actually coming onto your page, because I'm not, I'm very, I'm quite new to your page. Mm -hmm. And looking on your page in the last, in the past couple of weeks, couple of weeks has really educated me on um, mental health and mm -hmm. the different types of mental health. So to me, it's, it's, it's educated me and I'm feeling very useful at the moment by offering this, um, this new creative practice which is, is probably new to a lot of people here. So yeah, I'm yeah. feeling good, I'm feeling positive about it. And mm. I'm hoping that this is gonna be a new avenue for me to explore. Cause when I came into Mosaics and I was, I've been doing it for se several years. I started actually in 2003, that's when I actually started. Um, mm. And I didn't start my business until 2007. And then I was doing that alongside the, the legal work. And not and it wasn't until only a few years ago that I started to do it full time. It's not until very recently that I realised that there must be another reason why I'm doing this, not just because I'm making beautiful art. Mm -hmm. there, has, there has to be another reason because I, I've, been, I've been soul searching and just like, what? Why am I doing this art? Why? And what keeps coming back to me? only when I you know sit down and work with people is because you need to help someone else it's because this helps someone else mm -hmm. that's what it's all about mm -hmm. and I thought okay so I need to kind of just like really fine-tune my <laughs> my art now are you okay <laughs> oh, no you know sometimes and, when, when someone talks I feel that there's a message that I have to deliver. It's quite overwhelming what I'm feeling right now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm quite overwhelmed. And that can just happen, okay? So, okay. I'll... All right. So, what I'm getting and the message that I'm getting out is please do it because it will eliminate self harm. Self harm is a very serious situation, really serious situation. And for some reason, the message that I've got coming out is if you are a self harmer, replace replace, replace with something else, something you've never done before, something you've never indulged in before. Try it, replace it. It will stop the tattoos from going on your body in one way or another. Replace it with something else. And and I've never felt that urge to get that blinking message out for some reason. I'm sitting here and I'm just welling up and I don't know why I'm welling up, but I know that we can be touched somewhere along the line. So for me, replace with creative healing, with create with creative art, replace with listening, talking, find a hobby, 
find the enjoyment you've got mm. to and that starts with you because if it doesn't start with you then you don't change i've had 40 40 something years of self-harm self-disrupt sabotage mental illness depression anxiety flipping out drinking drugs the whole lot i've had years of doing that okay and i know that somewhere along the line i invested my time in everybody else but me mm. okay so the thing is about what you're offering i think is a really valuable lesson to bring people together to help with their mental health and that's what i that's why i i decided to say you know what i like what you're doing i believe in your product and furthermore i believe in you in what you're doing for other people and that's why i invited you here to turn around and say tell us what you got because i know that you have a skill and a gift that has to be promoted out there because it's saving lives and that's why it's important that we push out what you're doing and it helps you too. so anything to add to all that before i go over again and ask you events that we've got coming up yeah you all right with when you when you um expressed yourself can you just tell me where that was coming from in your body where um, you? here, here yeah. right in here right yeah, in that so, core okay because it makes me okay that's all right that's fine it feels like the gut in you know it's another way for like gut instinct i don't know even how to explain that feeling but i was just like what is that what is that and you know sometimes that happens to me and i'm just like i know what i've got to say i've just got to project that message out and it just came and i think it's a worthy message so replace the self-harm with something else positive and you have something to show for it at the end of the day rather than them tattoos on your on your body okay and i'm using that word as opposed to another word that we would put out and i would not put that out the method so creative healing that is what this yeah, creative healing this is what this is about now at the bottom of the screen viewers you can see that's running along the screen correct this spelling as well um is where you can reach dion uh please do in email dion at dion at that's her name info at yeah. <laughs> it's a q not a g that's your copy and paste that i done is that all right think, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to announce those lucky people again. We have nominated by uh, Miss Stephanie Carroll, nominated, she nominated a lady called Jude, Jody. So Jody, um, I do have your email and that uh, those gifts vouchers will be coming out to you soon. So I'm going to be dealing with you, Dion, to get those out. And then we have Anne. Anne, and M. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be contacting you to give you your um, lucky donation. Yeah. And uh, this says, brilliant. Continue to show up for yourself and unapologetic, my darling. I can know who that word is. And that's without reading a name. I'm pretty sure that's USA. <laughs> Let me double check. It certainly was. Um, actually, that's that's uh, Dr. Zoli Robinson. I will mention her name. Hey. She's going to be appearing. Um, we're going to be talking about dysmorphia, body dysmorphia. So these are the events that are coming up with awareness. Uh, and people don't know what body dys dysmorphia is. This is why we're going to educate you and break it all down. But I'll give you a diagnosis. It will cover anorexia, bulimia. Um, and uh, what else did I write down? Anorexia, bulimia, bulimia, all of those things. Talking about your body conscience, your body image that you're not, not happy with, those things, and where is it coming from? So I look forward to her event. That's, that's scheduled for March. Um, all, look in the events on G JDA and also in the Mom or Mind, or Mind Over Matter project um, gives back, and you will see in the events, there's lined up events um to cover a lot of elements around this behavior that some of us have got ourselves into and we want to replace that by offering solutions products services and we're now bringing people in that have those services so please do utilize those services that are being provided for you like no other service <laughs> so 
Body Dysmorphia, um, that's an event coming up. But to, to move on to the events, tomorrow we have live unsolved cases. That's right. The Mind Over Matter project will be bringing and digging up those cases that have been dismissed. And we need to find people. Well, we need to remember people. We need to we need to understand there were people here that have gone unnoticed. So we have to, we're bringing you ICI. That's, oh my God, my mind's gone. Intelligence Service Investigations will be bringing you unsolved cases. He is also um, a DJ for ICRFM 105.7 uh, on a Tuesday. So he will be bringing that unsolved cases on a Wednesday. And on Thursday, we have grief. A topic about grief and if you really want to be a part of this topic and come and have a say and talk to people please do contact me and um, my name is Kerry Mussington you can get me by messenger or go on the mind over matter gives back platform and there's a little app there I think you can contact me by whatsapp um, or email me at www it's all down the bottom there you can get hold of me but if you want to promote your services, your businesses, your products and the things that you're doing or talk about your health or talk about your experience with certain diagnoses and disabilities and disorders, uh, please do get in touch because we are going deep with these these uh, informations that we're giving you. Stay tuned. All January we are full. We're now taking bookings for March and a few spaces for February. So please take the opportunity like Dion has to promote what you have so you can help provide that solution to the public. This is what we're about, solutions. We're not talking, we're walking. We're giving you it on a plate. So this is just what is needed in these times, timely and authentic conversations. Oh, holy God, I love these comments. One day you might twist my arm to be rude. Well, you know what? That courage is going to come before you. And now there are ways of doing that. If you're, if you really want to do this and you really want to talk, right? You don't always have to have your face on it. We can also do it where you don't have your face on it, but you can project your voice. So that's on option. There are always options to getting your voice over. Even podcasts, discreetly. I can actually change your voice. I can do a lot of stuff. <laughs> so you have the option to come forward, step forward and give back. And that's what we've done here today. We give, we've given back and Dion is giving back. And then when she tells someone, they will give back who recommended. And that's the ripple effect of positivity. Mm. Okay. So I bet you have a lot to share with the world, my dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do. Um, we do. Jay? You're going to have to book yourself into a mosaic. And I'll tell you why I'm putting people on the phone. If you I'm have... going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go just for the sheer shake, sake of saying, yeah, I want to give it a go to see if I still got some skills. <laughs> so you're, you're going to book that in. I think, actually, I just thought about it because your, your wife, I know we were talking about we're doing grief um, on Thursday, but your wife lost her, her mother. And, again, you see, doing that mosaic, bringing what you're about a little personal gift added a little touch to it nice little gift isn't it yeah so yes you will be booking yourself in <laughs> you won't have it any other way <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting told i'm being told what i bring it on <laughs> i'm actually looking forward to it actually yeah oh, good. you don't you don't need any, any skills just need yourself I think that's people don't understand is that they, they was like business is so hard and that's the thing that we want to talk about. Business is hard. And if you don't have team players and you don't have people to help push out your business, you will suffer. And you and you'll you you might not suffer greatly, but it's a very slow process to get to what does success look like? And this is what we're saying, what does success look like? Success is you're already here, you've already done it, you already do it, you're now providing the solution. That's successful. You can't get any more successful than what you're doing. You came up with something that helps a cause, helps a person, gives a solution, helps with the mental health. You can't get much more successful successful than that. That's called saving life. Because if we didn't have what you're having to offer, there are people sitting at home that would probably wouldn't be here. So just a simple suggestion and a solution makes all the difference to someone's life. 
So I think where they can find you I'm down the bottom, where you can find us, that's down the bottom. Yeah. Like I said, stay tuned. Um, the other thing that I'll say, we do have products. We have these lovely T-shirts that come like that. That can be posted up for you in sizes, uh, different sizes. They're done by, see, we support other people's businesses and they support what we do too. So it's not about taking a product. It's about pushing out what they're doing as well. So we have these. This is our way of raising funds for what we're doing. Um, the T-shirts, as you can see, Mind Over Matter. This is our way for making, raising T-shirts and being able to provide those donations to vouchers and gift vouchers to help someone's mental health. This is what we're doing. We also have hats and other products that we do. Everything is a mind over matter. Um, hence the name. Dion, thank you so much for your interview. And I really do look forward to my booking uh, in the end, of the end of the month. I think it's this month or February. Um, yeah. no, February. Saturday, February. Yeah, January. Ah, January. I look forward to my booking. Um, I look forward to my <laughs> breaks and my me time. So yeah, thank you so hey. much for coming today. And um, I really do appreciate your help. So JDA Lifestyle uh, members and mom members and any other person that can see this and read this, please do get yourself involved. And like we said, it's about building family and building our self-esteem taking care of one another oh i'm just gonna read this last one out <laughs> greetings from north carolina family stay blessed at peace with ease in your vibe darling loved our time together today this is dr jolie this is dr zoli robinson i'm really privileged i'm, I'm excited yeah, I'm I'm lovely woman. To ask dr zolie if you'll be even though she's in america she can still attend your online courses and she this is the I, I do have um, a couple of international people doing it as well so, so how do they pay how do they pay if it's in dollars it just gets converted over yeah so they'll yeah, know what it is in dollars on um via the paypal app if you're paying by paypal app or straight into my account i think it just gets converted yeah yeah okay great so do you think you've pushed out enough information? Have I missed anything out today? Please follow me on Instagram at Kimamu Mosaics. I post a lot of um, information on, on Instagram. Um, so I'll be posting this upcoming workshop and after the workshop as well. So I'll be getting your feedback, won't I? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm coming back with my product. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see it behind the wall? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to taking part. And I know my space is already booked. That means I've put one foot in front of the other. I've scheduled my me time in. And that's what you guys can do for yourself. Now, mom is the word. And we'll see you soon. So tune in tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Well, that's Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. We are doing something every day. Stay tuned. Hit the follow button and like and subscribe on the YouTube channel, Mind Over Matter suicide prevention if you are getting this message and you're not in either of these groups because one wonderful person that's all it takes one wonderful person make sure it's more than one though um if you can shares it reaches a lot more people so thank you for all who tuned in left comments and share these with posts thank you and that's what we ask share the awareness do not keep the knowledge to yourself free up the info and offload to somebody else so they can get some help. You might need it, but you don't need it, but somebody else might. So the opportunity is there. That's up to you to take it. Now, mum's the word. Take care of yourself. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.